What is up guys? It is Raw Vegan Dude and welcome back to the channel. I'm here in the garden today because I have a lot of bananas to harvest. So let's go and harvest them. I've got my trusty handsaw and this will do the job. So let's go. And these are some of the bananas right here. So this is Cavendish, your normal Cavendish. And they are ready to harvest. One, two, this one, I don't know if you can see that, but one is actually turning yellow. And there is one more on this end. Over here. So one here. So that is three bunches of bananas to harvest. And we've got more papayas, we've got more passion fruit. I'm going to have to come back with a basket or a box because there's no way that I'm going to be able to pick all this fruit uh, with just these two hands. Okay, so let's harvest these bananas. These leaves. Just to make the process easier. Oh, it's gonna be definitely needs to make the job way easier. And it's gonna flop off. There we go. And that's a lot of bananas, man. Look at that. It's way bigger than I thought at first. And we've got more to harvest. It is very heavy too. <laughs> okay, so let's take this. One done. Okay. Round one has been completed. Let's go for round two. This one will be way easier to manage. It's a trick here because I don't want it to fall and damage the grape vine. And right next to it. gonna be way easier. Dude's just hold it here. Whoa. Yeah. See that's the problem. They say tree ripened fruit is not always the best thing because once this started turning yellow these ants started digging into it. So it's always good to harvest bananas before just before, the majority of the color still needs to be green while you harvest. So that is bunch number two. I've got lots of banana sap all over my hands and it's not the best of substance to get on yourself especially on your clothes because it will stain your clothes and it might not even come out so I just need to be a bit extra careful okay so this is bunch number three so this looks like a heavier bunch too I'm just gonna and let's go whoop A lot quicker than I expected. So let's take this one in. So we've got three or well, two decent sized bunches and one small bunch. Okay, <laughs> so I'm a bit out of breath because that was a lot of bananas to carry. But the job is not done yet. I've got the basket, so let us see what else I'm gonna pick. There's a lot of passion fruit on the floor. There's quite a few papayas that I've seen, so let's go get the job done. I just need to be careful of this, of these, of the stripping sap, because it's dangerous to my clothes. OK. 
okay there's quite a lot here these are ready to come off it's a nice big one look at that it's a bit old okay i've got a few more add it to the basket and here okay so that's looking good Papayas. This is an odd shaped one. Look at that. Let's pick it up. Okay, there's one on the floor that is just ready for us. And this is perfectly ripe to eat. Here are more strawberry guavas, cherry guavas. To harvest hopefully at least a couple of them don't have any maggots inside that is a very ripe one I'm sure it does have I'm not even gonna pick it up I did see a hole on it so these are the cherry guavas Here I've got a very special mango. So this is a mango that has come off a grafted mango tree, but it was below the graft. So below the graft, it actually flowered and fruited and it, it actually held the fruit. And this smells really amazing and zesty. And I'm sure it will get ripe. Look at the shape of it. It's like a long mango and it came off a tiny tree that has been in the ground for maybe around six months so not even that long have a look guys this is the harvest for today so we have passion fruit the yellow and purple we have papayas and we have guavas it has been a really good harvest so that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. I hope maybe it inspired you a bit to get planting if you've got some land. And yeah, if you do enjoy watching my videos, please let me know by hitting a thumbs up, by dropping a comment, letting me know what you think. And most importantly, please subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Take care.